And welcome back into the point after 585-395-2500 is the number if you want to call in. Point after 891 on Twitter and of course the point after dot org is the website and Syracuse talk is not done. We just touched on the men's lacrosse team doing good, but football season just around the corner and we'll bring in the assistant coach of the football team, Bob Casulo. Bob, how are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing very well, thank you. Uh, thanks for taking the time out to join us again. I know you were just on a recruiting trip uh, last week. How did the travels go, and uh, did you get everything you wanted to get done on the recruiting trip accomplished? We're making a lot of progress. Uh, it's, you know, it's junior recruiting, and uh, it's, it's basically traveling around. It, each coach has his own territory that he covers, and you're visiting with high school coaches. Uh, you're not allowed to talk to the players or their parents. So it's pretty much a... Uh, investigative type process where you you know each coach has his respective list of uh, prospects and you you go to visit the schools and if you have an opportunity to watch and play a spring sport you do that and it's good it's, it's good to get out and spread goodwill and get the Syracuse name all throughout uh, our territories now I know you guys have a, a Nike high school um kind of a recruiter's day coming up uh, over out in Syracuse at the Dome. How much of an asset is that to you guys, or are you pretty much done recruiting by that time, or does it give you the opportunity to look at a bunch of other new recruits who get to see? Well, <laughs> those, those things are kind of a sore subject with me because uh, uh, we're really, even though they're held on colleges, college campuses, uh, you know, Rutgers, Haslam, Penn State, Michigan, a lot of schools have them. We, the coaches, are not allowed to attend that. Uh, basically, the, the, the college campus site is just the one that's used because it's usually centrally located for uh, a territory uh, for the Nike sponsorship to bring in, you know, athletes in that respective territory. Um, you know, I, I it, <laughs> it's... It's a sore subject with me. It's a money-making proposition for people that are not affiliated with college athletics. And, you know, it's, it's kids go there and uh, um, they, they, they seek to get exposure. Um, you know, they seek to compete against each other in physical skills and get their name fancy to, uh, not only regionally but nationally. And, uh, I, you know, I don't know. I, I have a very negative feeling towards those camps. All right. Well, uh, you know, before we get more uh, kind of into the season coming up, uh, we'll take a look a week back at the NFL draft. A couple Syracuse guys uh, go into the draft. Uh, I know you, your uh, coaching staff has only been in there for uh, going on two years now, but what's it like as a coach seeing some of these guys you've worked at getting a shot at the next level? Well, you know, it does your heart good because, I mean, it, it, it's very rare if you come across a college athlete that, that doesn't want to get it, get an opportunity to play at the at the premier level of the National Football League, and then when you when you see guys get drafted from your program, you know it's 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 one it's an honor for them, and two it's an honor for the program, and three it's a way to go out when you attract recruits and you say hey look here we go you know we we have avenues to get you to the next level, so there's it, there really is no negative that comes out of it everything is positive. And, of course, the better you get as a football program, the more athletes you get drafted in, in free agent tryouts in the NFL team. Yeah, and looking more in addition to that, the, the, the main player that everybody was looking forward to in Syracuse to being drafted, Arthur Jones, 157th overall to Baltimore. Uh, you want to talk about a seemingly perfect fit for Jones. Uh, one of the best defensive players uh, in recent Syracuse history going to one of the premier defensive teams in the NFL. How do you think he's going to fit into that program? Oh, I think it's a good pick. I, I think, um, see, it's a situation where Arthur doesn't have to go in there and be the guy. Uh, you know, he can, he can go in there and be a guy. He can be a part of, just like you said, a real year-in and year-out top-five-ranked defense in the National Football League. And if Arthur can go in there and make that team, you know, he's going to be part of a real good thing, a real good unit. And uh, I think that's, that's what's best for him. And now, in addition to even your coaching staff, switching focus a little bit now to the season coming up, Tyrone Wheatley, uh, former 17th overall pick in 95, had a nine-year career in the NFL, coming in as the running backs coach. He used to coach Eastern Michigan. And now looking quickly at 
the running back four from last year, DeLone Carter, really doing a good job. Also, Antoine Bailey and Everett Collier backing him up. What does Wheatley bring to the team that's going to help that, that rushing attack really bring itself into focus? Well, Tyrone brings, I had the pleasure when I coached for the Oakland Raiders, Tyrone was our uh, one of our two featured backs. So I've known Tyrone for about 10 years now. And uh, Tyrone brings to the table the same thing Rob Moore brings for the wide receiver position. It's called experience. You know, when, when Tyrone and Rob explain to a player why they want them to do something, this is how they would recommend they do it. They're speaking from experience because that is the way they would have done it when they played in, in the NFL and in their college days. So players respect that. Players, you know, look into that and they say, geez, you know, what Coach Wheatley taught, I'm going to listen because he's speaking from experience. And, you know, just going through spring ball with both Tyrone and, uh, and Rob Moore, I saw that uh, their relationships with their respective position players oh, was just incredible. It's great, you know, and, you know, recruits out there that, that play running back or wide receiver, I mean, and an opportunity to come to Syracuse and play, be coached by two veteran NFL players, former NFL players, I think is a big plus, a huge plus. And then looking at last season, started off the season with Akron and Washington, and, and now you're getting back into that once again. Starting off, but the only thing different about this year, excuse me, was that now you're going to be hitting the road for both of these games, Akron and Ohio, and then Washington, you know, with, with the major assistance of Jake Locker all the way up there in Seattle, just is that the way that Coach Marone and yourself really want to start this season off by having those two tough games on the road before you get uh, two weeks back at Cuse for Maine and Colgate? Um, you know, I think it's more for, you know, for for uh, sports radio guys like yourself and for the average fan to debate that. You know, I've been in this business. This is my 39th year coaching, and one of the things I learned a long time ago: your most important game is the next one you're playing. And, you know, if you don't have to dictate who you play, where you play, and when you play them, then you just line up and play every week and get prepared. You know, we're going to Akron, Akron and we're going to uh, Seattle, Washington. And uh, that's the cards that were dealt. Uh, you know, we got to do that, and we got to play those games. And, we, you know, we, we got to come out of those games feeling good about ourselves. And, uh, I, you know, I, I don't think it's a big deal. I mean, you know, I lived in Seattle, Washington for two years when I coached with the Seahawks. It's a gorgeous, beautiful place, beautiful area. The University of Washington Husky Stadium is a very old, traditional um, horseshoe-type stadium right on the edge of Lake Washington. It's a beautiful setting. I'm sure it'll be a beautiful Saturday afternoon game, you know, and our guys will go out there and, we, you know, we'll, we'll play our tails off, and it is what it is, I guess, is the best way you say it. And then we come home for two games against Maine and Colgate, and, you know, the month of September.